Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. To create an index on a property of documents that are stored in MySQL Document Store, we first need to start up MySQL Shell and connect to a database. We start MySQL Shell by using the MySQL SH command. And you can see we are connecting to a MySQL instance running on my local machine with a user named Scott. When MySQL Shell is connected, we specify the schema we wish to use with the backslash u command. For this demo, we are using the MySQL underscore shorts schema. When we create a collection with the document store API, a table is created in your database. To get a glance at the table structure, we can run backslash SQL describe restaurant. I'm using backslash uppercase G to make the output a bit easier to read. We can see there are three columns. The doc column, which is of type JSON and where the JSON docs are stored. The underscore ID column, which is the primary key of the table. And finally, the underscore JSON underscore schema column, which can be used to specify a schema that JSON documents must adhere to. Now we are going to take a look at the current indexes for our collection. We do this by running backslash SQL show indexes from MySQL underscore shorts dot restaurant. We can see that the only index is the primary key. To create an index in a document store collection, we use the create index method and pass two arguments. The first argument is the name of the index we want to create. The second argument is a JSON object that defines what property or properties in our JSON documents we want to index. In our example, we create an index named restaurant name on the restaurant collection. We are also indexing a single property named name, which is off the root of our JSON document. Lastly, we specify that the index is of type text with a length of 100 characters. With the index created, let's take another look at our table structure. We can see that a new virtual generated column has been added. This virtual column holds the data of the name property for each document in our collection. This column is also used for our index. Now let's take a look at the indexes for our collection. We can now see that there are two indexes. The new index has the name restaurant name and is based on the data in the new virtual generated column. To see what data is stored in our virtual column, we can run a SQL command to pull back all the columns by using select star from restaurant. In this example, I'm using limit to only return a single row of data. In the results, we can see the new virtual column is returned and we can also see its value. The value in this column will be generated whenever a row is inserted into the table or when the value of the name property in a JSON document is updated. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.